Lucas Media. So everybody know by now that Ryan Garcia has been suspended from boxing for basically being juiced up against Devin Haney. Mauricio Suleiman, president of the WBC, writes, in support of Ryan, we don't care to punish him. We want to help Ryan, the human being. He is suffering, going through difficulties. This is not a matter of boxing. Ryan needs immediate support and attention now. So of course, Devin the Dream Haney writes, help me, you guys cheated, or you guys called for a purse bid while I was going through the damages of being cheated. So of course that went on fire last night online. Then a couple hours later, the WBC writes a post in support of Devin Haney, as y'all can see right here in the image. Honestly, honestly, I mean, this, this is the issue with boxing. This is why boxing is where it is. And I really hope, cause you know, we've been hearing rumors that Turk Alashik's gonna buy, try to buy all the promotional companies. We, I really hope this happens, honestly, because when you would do that, you don't need these belts and this will help majority of the things. But this is why boxing is where it is. These sanctioning bodies, these different organizations, they do what they want to do. They enforce things when they want to. It's on paper, but when you have a superstar or whoever, they pick and choose. And they do it in people's face, honestly. They do it in our face. They act like we don't see it. And then they get mad when you talk about it. Honestly, I'm going I'm to I'm be real. The WBC have been hating on Devin Haney for a long time. Do y'all remember when Devin Haney was Lomachenko's mandatory. The WBC gives Lomachenko this franchise belt so Devin, Devin Haney's the, then he becomes the regular champion. But then they say, oh, the franchise belt isn't transferable. It's just some BS honor. You know, they, they throw out belts every other week, right? We already know McDonald's, Independence Day, Juneteenth, Labor Day, Cinco, they're going to come out with a, some, some type of belt for every fight. Lomachenko ends up fighting Tiafima Lopez. Then the belt transfers over. So now we caught, we hollering about who's the champion, and we know Devin Haney's the champion. Then Mauricio Suleiman comes out and says, oh, Tiafimo Lopez is the franchise champion. Devin Haney's the pride champion. And you could tell he was just making it up on the fly. He had no clarification what the hell did that mean. But this is what happens. This is what goes on with these belts. Then Tiafimo Lopez loses to George Cambosis. Then they say George Cambos is un he's undisputed. He's not undisputed. Of course, Devin Haney ends up beating him, and then the franchise belt just magically disappears. You don't even hear them talk about that no more. This is this is the <laughs> this is the drama that goes on in boxing. And honestly, I'm gonna keep it real. This is why fight fighters should give up the belts. They shouldn't care about these belts, man. The only thing they want is sanctioning fees. And again, if they was gonna be clear cut across the board, then fine. But even like with Charlo, right, with a uh, Jamal Charlo. The man ain't fought in years and they didn't strip him, but then it'd be let somebody not fight their mandatory right after they already have a title defense and then they get stripped. And see, the reason why Mauricio Suleiman is going hard for Ryan Garcia is because he wants that attention that comes with Ryan. See, Ryan has not never been a champion. He's never been a regular champion. He's never been a super champion, no champion at all, but it don't matter. And Ryan realizes that and Mauricio is saying, hey, if we just stick ourselves with Ryan, you know, every time we show up, we just give him a fake belt or, you know, we have his back, then we can get his fans and hopefully Ryan to give a belt one day, get a belt one day and we can get his sanctioning fees. And I'm going to keep it real honest. I really don't think the WBC wanted Devin Haney to win. I think they wanted Ryan to win so they could post billboards of him all over the country talking about Ryan's our champion. Look at him. And, and I bet they wouldn't dare. They would not dare let him lose that belt under no circumstances. Ryan probably, would, he would never even have to fight a mandatory. But I mean, again, all of this, this goes back to everybody hating on Devin Haney. And I had, a, I jumped on Champ Sides live yesterday and, you know, we got to stop playing fair. See, we believe in fair, but boxing has always been about race, especially when you have a black fighter going up against a non-black fighter. And we can go all the way back historically to Jack Johnson versus Jim Jeffries, the fight of the century. Come on now. That was all built on race. And it's always been like that. And we can even go against from Larry Holmes versus versus Jerry Cooney, where both fighters both got paid $10 million. And it was all about race. And y'all can look. It's on YouTube. Just watch it. And they're talking about race on there. It, boxing is like the last frontier, honestly. Them couple other sports but boxing is really where it's race it's all about race but they don't want to act like it we don't want to act like it we want to be fair and then you got these people you know cutting a jig and all this on it's just it's sad man it's sad but this is where boxing is where it is we got things like this ryan can't even be punished without people trying to pamper him 
But if the roles would have been reversed, do y'all really think that the WBC would have been there for a Devin Haney or anybody that looks like Devin Haney? But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it and tell me what y'all think.